There is a lot of equipment that Russian troops have generously left for Ukrainian forces to take. A portion of it is still very much in decent condition. The fact that the Ukrainians are destroying both the newest and the oldest Russian tanks demonstrates how inadequate the Kremlin's arsenal has become. The Ukrainians are destroying the Russian tanks as they enter Ukraine, which the Russians are doing with every tank they can get their hands on. In February 2022, the fight between the Russian army and its mercenary and separatist allies in Ukraine got worse. More than 1,000 frontline tanks, mostly the Adu and BV. T-72B3 and T-90M were used to accomplish this. In addition to their own quick-firing T-64 tanks, the Ukrainians also targeted them with artillery, mines, drones and shoulder-fired missiles. After 13 months of fierce fighting, the Ukrainian military has either destroyed or taken over nearly 1900 Russian and separatist tanks. Near Barmut, the Russian army takes a lot of damage and the Ukrainian armed forces will move quickly to take advantage of this. The PMC Wagner employees are the most important people in this field in the Russian Federation. They are losing a lot of strength and getting weaker without stopping. Even though the enemy is constantly firing artillery and planes, the Ukrainian soldiers at the front show incredible strength, courage and bravery. The 93rd, 10th, 57th and 5th brigades in particular are currently defending their motherland in the country's eastern region. In the last 24 hours, the Ukrainian Air Force has launched 12 strikes against enemy personnel and military equipment clusters. In addition to one strike against a Russian air defense missile system. Also, artillery and missiles from Ukraine hit a Russian command post. Three groups of enemy soldiers, a weapons depot, an electronic warfare system. The day before, Ukrainian defenders in the eastern part of the front stopped 83 attacks from the enemy. Russian invaders are still terrorizing the populace by firing on settlements and crucial infrastructure. The deadliest infantry battle in Europe since World War I took place at Bahamut. Russian reports state that despite Western media stories that Russian forces may be trying to launch offensives in other directions, the pace of Russian operations near Bahamut appears to be slowing down. British military intelligence says that the Russian forces' attack on the town may be losing steam. The owner of the Russian mercenary Wagner Group has already informed the Russian Defense Ministry that the Ukrainian army is preparing an assault that will cut off his troops from the rest of the Russian forces in eastern Ukraine. The European Union, on the other hand, consents to sending Ukraine 1 million artillery shells.